Hello boys for Sam Mill Commander players, I am Prospo, and I welcome you to EDH Scout. Today we will continue the tribal reviews for the Strix Haven and Commander 2021 sets. Today we are jumping into the Elementals tribe. Hope you enjoy. There are 14 cards for the Elementals tribe. In Strix Haven and Commander 21 sets, the flavor ranges from 4 to 14 points and there are two new commanders. This time the elementals are in Isaac colors, as the blue and red elementals are the mascots for the Prismary College. There are three new card draw spells, five cards ramp, and there are five removal spells. The main characteristic of the tribe is the token creation, with eight new spells, and the spell slinging strategy, with five new spells. The first commander is Zephe, Thunder Conductor, with 12 flavor points. He is the face commander, from the Commander 21, Prismary Performance deck. His Mage Craft ability, involves creating 4-4 four, four elemental creature tokens, every time you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, with mana value 5 or greater. Octavia, Living Thesis, is the second commander for elementals, in Commander 21. He is clearly a spell slinging commander, and it is unlikely to lead an elemental tribal EDH deck. Will, Scholar of the Frost, from Strixhaven, is a spell slinging planeswalker, who can draw you cards, and reduce the cost of instant and sorcery spells. His ultimate ability is a 5 permanent exile removal, that gives your opponents 4-4 four, four elementals. The Elementals Tribe got a really nice exile removal spell from Strixhaven. Resculpt is a two-mana instant spell that can exile an artifact or a creature. It gives your opponent a 4-4 elemental token though. Don't forget that you can target your own permanent and get the elemental instead. Resculpt will be a nice inclusion in the Temer Elementals Tribal deck. In Strixhaven Grinning Ignis was reprinted. His first printing was back in Future Sight in 2007. He is an elemental, that you can return to your hand and gain two colorless mana. He is a good ramp spell, and has already gained his place in the elemental tribal decks. He has a lot of combo potential as well. With 11 flavored points, Magma Opus and Elemental Masterpiece are two elemental token creation spells. Magma Opus can be used as a removal as well. Both cards have very high mana value and can be useful at a late game. They both can be traded with a treasure token at the early game, giving you some useful ramp and mana fixing. Elemental Summoning and Mascot Exhibition are two token creation spells, which are not so useful for our tribal deck. Moving on to the spell slinging strategy, Elemental Expressionist gives a form of protection for your creatures by giving you back an elemental token when they die. You have to play or copy an instant or sorcery spell to trigger his ability though. Storm Kill Nutist is a dwarf that uses elementals as power source. He can ramp you very well by making treasure tokens with his mage craft ability. Inferno Project is a nice spell slinging payoff, but unlikely to find place in an elemental tribal deck. The last two cards, with elementals in the art, and the flavor text, have really high mana value for the effect they offer, to be considered for our EDH decks. This was a quick review, for the elementals tribe, in Strix Haven and Commander 21 sets, even though the elementals got two new commanders, and a new planeswalker, the main attraction for the tribe was Resculpt, a powerful removal spell, and of course the reprint of Grinning Ignis, who has already proven his potential in the elemental tribal EDH decks. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. See you soon with more flavorful videos.